Welcome to the Chrome Enterprise Technical Community Hour. Today we'll be talking about long-term support. My name is Rich and I'll be your host for today's presentation. Joining me today, we have our speaker, Thomas Kuchek, who's a technical program manager for Chrome OS. For today's agenda, I'll start with a quick introduction of the Chrome Enterprise Recommended Program and the Technical Community Hour. Then I'll hand it over to Thomas, who will cover today's topic and the call to action for our Chrome partners. Today's Chrome Technical Community Hour is brought to you by the Chrome Enterprise Recommended Program, which is Google's partner program for third-party solutions that are optimized for Chrome OS or integrated with Chrome Browser. The Technical Community Hour brings you the opportunity to engage with our team about new features and updates, enterprise development best practices, and our enterprise strategy. Now, without further ado, I'll pass it over to Thomas and he'll kick us off. Thomas? Perfect. Thanks, Rich, for the introduction. And let me start my sharing session so I can uh, click through my slides easily. Share. Perfect. So today, um, yeah, I'm, I'm Thomas Kuczek, uh, working for Google since, uh, uh, yeah, around uh, more than 12 years. So long-term support is our topic, LTS. Uh, is what long-term support is. And I will be using LTS, the three letters, quite often today. So let's start with the one sentence on what LTS is and then go into the details. So LTS is our most reliable operating system for Chromebooks and Chrome OS Flex devices that receives only security updates for six months. Uh, Call to action at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end is test your apps on LTS. But I also go into more details about this sentence. So Chrome OS uh, used to have three major operating system version channels, which is dev, beta, and stable. You know them since uh, quite some time. And let's, let me start with the why question. Uh, so why did we create LTS? What's our inspiration behind it? So we believe that stability, security, and low update costs are all equally important. This is uh, what LTS gets. We believe that commercial customers and developers want stability and security and test, and test all their applications less often, not that frequent as unstable. We believe that LTS is the most reliable platform to run your applications on. The most secure one is definitely stable. It gets security fixes first, but the most reliable one is LTS. And running an operating system without security fixes is a security risk. So I go, I go into all of these four points into more details through the slides and through the whole presentation. So, Let's go, uh, let, let's ask how does LTS work? So first of all, we only have two LTS releases per year. So it starts at the beginning of March with uh, 2023 with LTS 108 and ends in beginning of March 24 uh, with LTS 120. And in between this 12 months from March to February, we have two LTS cycles and 12 stable releases. So stable, we provide stable every month basically and only two LTS releases um, per year. So once in a half year, one. LTS continues to receive frequent security fixes. So we provide all the security fixes in uh, stable um, per from, from a release to the next release and during a respin inside a stable release. Um, and out of these security fixes, we deliver um, many of them into LTS. So you get frequent security updates in our LTS releases, which actually have been proven on the stable channel already. LTS version numbers are in sync 
with our stable release channel, but only exists every six releases, right? So stable 108 becomes LTS 108 three months later. Mm, and when we release 114 a stable in June, three months later, we release LTS 114. Um, LTS only receives feature updates when updating from one LTS major version to another. So LTS 108 stays feature-wise on 108 from stable, but um, once it's um, end of uh, life after six months and we release the new LTS release, you get all the, sec uh, all the features uh, which you know from 108 to 140. So all the new features that release during the time between 108 and 114 will find um, its way into LTS 114. So when you update from LTS 114 to 120, you again get all the new features um, that 120 stable has. Um, devices update directly from one LTS release to another. So if you update from LTS 108 to LTS 114, you get all updates with all firmware updates and all kernel updates that are necessary. We take care of this. And LTS is available three months after the corresponding stable release. So we released 108 in December, three months later in March 22, we release LTS 108. And you might ask yourself, what actually happens in these three months? So why is there a delay? And the delay is actually LTC, which stands for long-term support candidate. And LTA, LTC, so long-term support candidate, is our preview release that shows how LTS will look like. Um, there is a nice term that we have internally at Google, which says it has a three months, so LTS has a three months baking time. And in this baking time of three months is what we call LTC, long-term support candidate. And during this time, we ask you to provide feedback on anything that isn't working with LTC soon, as quickly as possible. This is a time when we can change and adapt LTS very easily. Once LTS is out there, it's, things are still changeable and possible, but it's way harder. So to find bugs quickly in um, LTS and while you're on LTC, you know, you need to be on LTC with some of your uh, people. And we ask you to keep your IT staff on LTC. They should always be on LTC to see how LTS will look like and to test their your applications uh, on LTC quickly. We also ask you to keep about 5% of your production devices on LTC. So you're not running LTC only uh, for your IT department, but also uh, in production um, somewhere where it's okay um, to run LTC. And, and it's not, it doesn't have to be LTS, uh, our um, very, very uh, stable version. So LTC is available for six months, same release timeline, timeline than LTS, but it um, is three months offset. So it starts with 108 and uh, once 114 is coming out, you get LTC 114 until you get LTC 120 in the same time when 120 stable is coming out. Um, LTC, um, yeah, wait, I've been, I've been talking about this. LTC is available at the time when the corresponding Chrome OS uh, stable release is available too. Um, so it's, it, it's nearly the same time frame. It's not to the second exactly the same time frame, but once stable 108 is coming out, we provide you pretty nearly LTC 108. So let's, um, talk about pinning um, in our inspirational slide where where we uh, where I was talking about why we create um, LTS. I was also talking about um, security. And actually, 
um, an, an operating system which does not get any updates is definitely not secure anymore. Um, but, and, but the reality is that we see this um, in, in the wild uh, with our pinning functionality. We have it there. It's available in the admin console. You can pin all your devices um, to a certain version of Chrome OS. And then these devices are pinned and don't get any updates anymore. We ask you to avoid pinning as much as possible because we see that the danger of forgetting pin devices is very high. Uh, I visualized this on the statistic on the left side. Thankfully, most of the devices, 70%, are not pinned. They are on the current stable release. Um, there are some devices pinned on the current LTC and LTS version, which is marked in blue, which is also okay. They still get updates. And now comes uh, the issue with these devices and the percentages in gray, which are um, the current stable minus one, minus two, three, four, and five, and more uh, devices, which are pinned and actually are out of support by Google. So for one release um, or two releases, it's um, it might be not that bad, but we see around 10% of devices which are older than four releases back and, and very much older than four releases back. So if you pin on a version that is not current, you don't get security updates anymore. Um, this is pretty important to know. And every version of Chrome OS, which is not the current stable or the current LTS or LTC release, is actually unsupported by Google. So um, remember this when you pin devices. Um, and pinning is only possible on the major release versions, right? So you can only pin on stable 113 or LTS, LTC. Um, the version number doesn't matter, but on these um, on stable or LTS ITC channel. So when we are talking about LTS and about pinning, we also need to talk about rollback. And rollback to the current Chrome OS LTS release is supported by Google. So you can roll back to the current LTS release. Rollback requires a target version. Uh, to know to which version to roll back. Um, and this is actually already pinning. So if you um, select the target version uh, to the current LTS version, press the OK, a save button, then you pin your, your devices to this specific LTS or stable version. And once a new LTS version is available, you need to change the target version to the new LTS version manually. So once you decided to pin your devices, it's up to you to take care of it. It's not Google that is updating your devices automatically and giving you um, all the security updates um, and feature updates uh, for a new major release, uh, which come with a new major release. It's on you. Uh, because you've decided to pin your devices on a certain version, you need to remember this and figure out when a new version is coming out, uh, test this new version and un either unpin uh, the devices or pin them to the version you have tested. Um, but when it comes to update policies, Google is basically uh, out of the game. Yeah, a couple of information about uh, rollback devices. So for the restart Chrome OS version to take effect, effect, devices need to restart, wipe, and re-enroll into your account. We take care of this, but there is always a wipe included um, in a rollback, which means that data on the device, which is stored in, um, in, in some personal folders, will get deleted. But users see a notification that lets them know the local data will be automatic automatically deleted during rollback. And um, if you have pinned to LTS 
and your device is actually on stable with a higher version, you actually do a rollback current LTS. But if you have if you have a device which is on an older version than the current um, LTS, you actually roll up to um, the pinned LTS version that you have set up in the admin console, which is quite obvious. So you stay at the version that you have pinned for all devices in the organization unit that you have selected rollback. Good. So let me um, talk about how and, and how to get LTS um, directly in the admin console. It's really easy. So in the ad, in the tree navigation structure, uh, we have devices, Chrome settings, devices, and there are the device settings. And in the device settings um, long list, we have a section called device update settings. And I'm focusing on the device update settings for all the version control settings that we have. It's all in there. So if you want to get LTS, it's quite easy. Um, we have a release channel section, which is usually by default set to allow users to configure. And then every user can configure for himself if he wants uh, dev or beta or stable or, or anything else. But as an admin, you can set this to long-term support channel. Um, so your organization unit gets an um, LTS uh, and you find or you set up another organization unit for your IT department, which uh, gets LTC, as I stated um, earlier, which is quite important uh, that you also see issues early. So this is how you get um, LTS and LTC. If you want to pin a device, which we're not recommending, this is also be done in the device update settings section. So release channel was down there. Um, the target version, which is pinning, um, can be controlled here. The default value is use latest available version. So it automatically um, updates itself, but you can choose long-term support, for example. So the devices are pinned to the current LTS version. If you want to add rollback to this and your devices have a selected target version, it's again, just one click. It's in the section rollback to target version. The default value is do not roll back OS. You can change it to rollback OS and then rollback is enabled for this organization unit, when you add a device into your domain, into this OU, it automatically rolls back or forward to um, your selected LTS version. So um, I was talking about that if you use pinning, um, you need to remember yourself when a new version of stable or LTC is coming out and you need to test it um, and you need you have three months time during the LTC period and then if LTS becomes available you need to set um, pinning to the new LTS version yourself um, and if you ask yourself how do I know when this is happening uh, we have a release schedule calendar out there. It's available under chromium-appspot.com. And there is a schedule section, which tells for every single release um, when, it, uh, when it becomes beta, when it becomes stable, um, when we have pl a planned refresh cycle. Is it an LTS release or an LTC release? And when it comes out, so for 114, um, the LTS release is available on the 19th of September, 2023. And the LTC release, which comes three earlier, three months earlier, is available on the 13th of June, 2023. You can press this next button on top as often as you want. It goes really, really far into the future. Um, Let's go to the next slide, which is which is about security updates. Um, I know that security updates 
can be viewed um, as a risk. And with, with this slide, I want to take you the fear uh, of the security updates being viewed as a risk. Mm, and I think you will pretty soon understand why. So we have two kinds of security updates. We call them security respins. We have the planned security respins and the one-off security respins. Uh, let's start with the planned security respins. So security updates get collected and distributed every two to three weeks into um, LTC or LTS. And most important about this is that the security updates are first released to our stable channel. That's why our stable channel is the most secured channel um, before they are being approved and merged to LTS. So when we merge security fixes into LTS, they've been out, the security fix is a fix in the field on millions of devices in the stable channel already. So if something is wrong there, we know this very, very quickly because it's been tested on millions of devices. We also have one of security respins for very critical uh, security updates only. Uh, we have the capability to use this. Um, and still, with one-off security respins, they land in our stable channel first. We let them uh, bake, <laughs> or we make sure that um, nothing is uh, happening uh, on the stable channel with the security fixes before we merge them into LTS. So what, um, what is included into a, a security update? So it's Chrome OS update, security update. It can include kernel security fixes. It's also Chrome browser security fixes, which we get from the browser team. And it's also, and it's also Android security fixes. So let me tell you about the reasons for admin. So if you're an admin, why should you use LTS? And I think if you want stability over a six months time frame, and not only for a month, LTS is for you. If you want to update your device fleet every th six months only, LTS is for you. If you want to test your applications for compatibility on LTC and LTS, right, you need LTS and LTC it's definitely more secure than pinning because it receives frequent security updates. Pinned version on stable, when we have a new version coming out, becomes stale, they don't get any security updates anymore and they become vulnerable against attacks. And LTS is not new. Um, we have it since November 21. The first LTS release was LTS 96, which is already quite some time ago. And a little bit old. <laughs> we have LTS 108 now, right? So if you are a developer, what are the reasons to use LTS? I think the most important one is we already have 11 million devices on LTS. So it's, it's a release channel with, which is already highly used by our customers. Um, I've also looked back in time into January 2022 20, uh, and compared this to um, 2023 uh, May, and we grew the number of devices on LTS 10 times. So LTS is not only, does not only have a lot of uh, many million, over 11 million devices running LTS, but it's also on a speed um, trajectory on uh, consumers or uh, um, enterprises use uh, LTS and are um, not unstable, but going into LTS. LTS is a fully supported Chrome OS release by Google. We run thousands of tests for every LTS release to ensure its stability. And 
we are stable, and I was talking about this already, is our most secure channel. LTS is our most reliable release channel. So last slide. Yeah, you see it because it looks best. And someone told me makes you know the last slide really inspirational because it sticks long on the uh, screen. So fully support and test your applications on LTS. And even more important, update your website and let your customers know that you fully support LTS. It's not that complicated if you think about it, because let's say we are talking about uh, stable 108. You have been testing for stable 108 already. So you know that it's working on LTS 108. But during the time you might test for stable 109, 110, 11, uh, 12, and so on. But remember to test on LTS too, because there are many devices out there running LTS already. Thank you for listening. That's it. And I'm giving back to Rich. Rich, your last slide. Thank you, Thomas. Please visit the Chrome Enterprise Developer website for additional information to supplement your learning. That concludes today's presentation. We look forward